sausage, jellyfish. Guys, so today we, I, us, will have hot pot slash barbecue sukiyaki with lots of vegetables, pork, beef, shrimp, jellyfish, corn, hot dogs. So this, when you order it, they give you different um, broth options. I ordered two. Usually it's, usually I use the clear broth, but today I'm going to use this um, darker sort, sort of um, soup base sauce. Soup, so I'm just gonna turn this on. This little guy, you guys, heats up so fast. So I'm just gonna wait, like literally, oh no, I forgot scissors. See, I told you, literally takes no time. And I know you guys are going, uh, maybe, I don't want it to spill over. Ow! Literally like a drop left. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't want it to spill over when I put all this stuff in. So I'm just turn that up. That was like number one. And I'm going to... The pork first. Hopefully you can hear me. Maybe I'll cook this first and then once it's like done, I'll turn this side off. And pork takes literally no time to cook. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, the, the soup needs to like hurry up and boil. <laughs> put this here. And then what you do is put your chopsticks all right into this hot pot pot to cook put the shrimp like oh because you know shrimp also does takes no time to cook So while we wait for the soup to boil a little bit, I'm going to touch base on Aaron's Q&A, you guys. Wasn't he the cutest thing? <laughs> so it's starting to steam a little bit. I'm going to put some coarse enoki mushroom. That should be good for now. Some sausage. Oh, there goes fish balls. Corn. I turned this down a little bit because it was starting to be all smoky. Um, I only cooked two of the bacon because I like to dip it in here more so and I like oh and I like to cook this part of the pork on here like grilling it um the pork the meat is already seasoned so you don't have to do much and also the broth is seasoned as well um oh I forgot to put some basil in here and some morning glory you guys because i like lots of greens in my 
hot pot. While that's spoiling, I'm gonna show you the sukiyaki sauce. Now, if you are at home in North America, Canada, wherever you are, check your local Asian store, you guys. This brand right here is what I use when I'm in um, Canada when I make the sukiyaki at home. Basically, you just put like, you know, those, um, those chicken, chicken broth. Yeah, chicken broth in a bowl and season it however you like boil whatever vegetable meat you want to put in there shrimp seafood whatever and then you find this sauce or any sukiyaki sauce but this one here in particular is my favorite when i'm not in thailand actually even when i'm in thailand i still reach for this sauce um however today i'm going to go with the sauce they gave me bowl big sauce bowl and I have cut up chili that I'm going to put in here because a little bit of heat goes a long way. You see it's starting to boil now. Oh, I'm so excited. Also, I'm so hungry. So this is what the sauce looks like with the... Oh, I don't want to spill it. Chili. Um, I'm going to go for the shrimp first gonna dip it in this soup base first because it doesn't take a that long to come cook once it curls kind of like that and this is sweet shrimp anyway so there you go so it doesn't take that long to cook curled up a little bit dip it in the sauce first bite this shrimp right here is my cousin's favorite shrimp to eat it when we go out for the uh, sukiyaki. Mm. It, I, if you could only smell the aroma in here, you guys, oh, you'd be like, can I have some? <laughs> Okay, so here's a good bite right here. Enoki mushroom with, oof, see it's boiling right now. Turn it down. Dip it in the sauce. Oh. Fish ball. Mm. Hot. Mm. That burnt my mouth a little bit. Bacon is so good with the dish. <laughs> Did that even come out right? <laughs> the bacon is so good. <laughs> hmm. Um, first of all, as you can tell, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Which means, I'm not at my mom's. <laughs> well, I use this background. at my mom's as well, but I just brought it with me because 
I know I'll be making some ASMR videos here in Bangkok. Um, I had to come here. Well, I didn't have to, but my cousin had to make a trip down south because it's like flooding. It's raining season, typhoon season here down south. So she needed to go check up on a few things back at her place. So I came with her. Um, basically, she dropped me off. here and then she's gonna come back later and we'll go back to my mom's area about a week ish so I'm here by myself right now just chilling like a villain roaming around Bangkok and just waiting for her here. This is so good, you guys. Mm. The egg, almost forgot. But this egg is going to be broken up. I know you're probably so disappointed, but I think I broke it. I don't know. Can you even see it? Oh, yeah, you kind of can. Let me move this out a little bit. There we go. Kind of. Where's my spoon? Let's see if I can find it. Oh, yeah, it's broken. Oh, is it broken? I can't find it, so it must have... Must have been broken. Mmm, there. That looks more like a soup. For sukiyaki soup. You like my new spoon? <laughs> I'm also going to put some... Jellyfish in here. Jellyfish is so good in here. Pro only problem is it shrinks up so much after it's cooked that sometimes it literally just disappears. So I gotta keep my eye out on it for this one. <laughs> um, anyways, you guys, back to Aaron's Q and A. Um, let's do the shrimp first. See, look, the, sh the shrimp is, like, getting cooked on its own. There's going to be so many cuts in this video. It's not even funny. Back to Aaron's um, Q&A video. He touched on a question that one of you guys asked if he was going to make it back here to Thailand for Christmas and New Year's. And, you know, it doesn't look like it. I know maybe some of you guys have seen the Q&A and maybe some of you guys haven't and are wondering about that. So yeah, he it doesn't look like he's going to make it here and we're just basically going to wait until um, I get back to Canada, you know, which is, I mean, kind of quite a ways from here right now if we're talking about it, but you know, this whole time that we've sort of um, are waiting in the process whether or not he's gonna make it back we kind of already knew that it was gonna ha wasn't going to happen you know even though because we were like okay well what if what if Thailand opens um, right now Thailand is open as of November 1st uh, then we kind of decided well It's almost like as soon as he comes back here, I'm going to have to leave anyways. So
It just doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys are probably like, well, what about Christmas and New Year's? You know, it's kind of like, it is what it is. We're dealing with it. it I mean, it. yeah, it obviously sucks that we're not going to be spending Christmas and New Year's together. But when we made that decision for him to go home and me to stay behind, we knew that that could be a possibility. And so that's why... In a way, we're not, I mean, it sucks, but we're not, like, upset. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm just trying to cool it down so I can put this here. <laughs> Let's see. Grab some corn with my spoon. And I was reading some of the comments and you guys are so cute. You know, some of you guys were saying, oh, I think I, I feel like I like Aaron more than Sass. And it's like, I'm so happy to read that comment, you guys. Like, it's, I feel like it's been a long time coming, you know, for him to, it's honestly, it's all about timing and we couldn't have possibly seen this coming like him deciding to show his face and you know and um i don't know i'm i'm kind of speechless in a way because i've been wanting him to do this for a while and you know, and, it, and, and I'm glad I didn't push him to do it either, you know, like it, it was all his decision. Obviously, we talked about it. You guys, I, I'm pretty sure you know by now that Aaron and I talk about everything. We're very, very open about everything and all things, good or bad. And I think maybe that's why a lot of the times... You know, when we come to a disagreement or a misunderstanding or when we have fights, we basically, we fight and we, we fight it out, basically, you know, we, um, yeah, and that's how it's always been. Um, and I know a lot of you guys were like, how, how do you do that? It's just like he said in the video, we've always been open and to each other. And we talk about a lot of things constantly, you know, even if it's just like a, uh, like a thought process, you know, um, You know what? I'm gonna turn this side off and put all the meat here, like so, and put my dipping sauce right there because I'm not gonna cook on this side anymore because I like to dip it on this side anyway. Oh no! Oh no! Chopstick down! Chopstick down! <laughs> Oh man, this video, I haven't done a mukbang like this in a while, so it's kind of all over the place. And there is a lot going on right now, so I'm sorry you guys, I'm just all over the place. Oh, and also, also, 
I know you guys love it when Aaron goes over to my sister's house to do a video with Emma. <laughs> um, if only I could explain to you how close those two are. It's insane. Like, they pretty much... I'm talking about Emma and Aaron, too, by the way, if you haven't caught on. Um, they, like, when I'm sleeping, Aaron takes a picture of their FaceTime and sends it to me and be like, this is what Emma's talking about today. <laughs> you know, just so I'm, like, caught up on it. It's, like, the cutest thing. And I know... Mm. I know a lot of you guys were like, well, what about Nico? Well, Nico is a teenager now. And, you know, he likes doing his teenager stuff. <laughs> As I'm sure who our parents out there can relate he's still there and he's still interested in some things but he's just not you know yeah i think you know what i mean hmm I almost dipped it in nothing. <laughs> so good. I, maybe maybe one of these days when I go to this restaurant again with the full with the whole family I'll either go live or do an actual video of the whole process but there's just so many people there like my family member that is when we go eat this and so I feel like it's a lot going on to like vlog properly I can just eat enoki mushroom and bacon and the sauce and I'll be happy oh and sukiyaki here is usually all you can eat sukiyaki so it's even better Oh, so you guys, I've never eaten so much bacon <laughs> before in my life until I started really to enjoy sukiyaki here. Like even when I do it at home, I usually put fish in here instead of bacon. But then, you know, when you try it once, when you try it twice with your family member, it just sort of grows on you and it's almost like you can't do without it. You know, corn. Yeah, let's put corn in here. And more jellyfish, you guys. Turn my pot up. Put the shrimp back in here. <laughs> Got some left in here. 
Oh, and also, I know when I put Aaron's like Instagram account up there, some of you guys think he has a YouTube channel, which he doesn't. He, he just recently opened up to Instagram, and so he has an Instagram account if you want to go and follow him. Um, I know he's not really a uh, post every day kind of guy, you know, so. <laughs> But he does post. And it's so cute because his whole thing is, you know, he just wants to be able to let you guys know what he's up to on the other side of the world. You know, instead of having me telling you guys about it. So... It's great. I can't say enough about it. Like, I love it. I love it so much. And I love it that you guys love it too. And I want to say thank you so much for, you know, being so kind in the comment section. And, you know, I he doesn't read the comments. But, but I did tell him, like, you know, when he post the video and things like that like he should glimpse over it when he has time or things like that you know just so he can see the feedback or what you guys have to say and then it's just something for him to talk about in the next video sort of thing you know it's almost like him talking to you and you you're talking to him back like communicating in that way and he's like yeah okay you know and so he's so cute because the other day he was like oh yeah i was reading in the comments and it's like it's really positive and i was like yeah like of course it's positive you know like i mean there are a few here and there that isn't but it's kind of like we can't really relate to those kind of comments anyway so it's just kind of like whoosh. Uh, you know so what can i say You can't. You know, if I've learned anything from being a YouTuber or a content creator is you can't take each and every single person's comment seriously because you will connect with some and you will connect with some and sometimes you just no matter what you do you can't connect with that person no matter what you do you can change yourself for the better you can change yourself for the worst if they don't like you they don't like you so it's kind of like eh, you know and not everyone will have the same interest or opinion or uh, perspective on things the same way as you see them, you know? That's how the world works. So, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes, sometimes when people say negative things, you can take it as a criticism and you change for the better or make yourself better from that comment or or you don't you know you know you know <laughs> i think you know so in a way if you're struggling with negativity in the world you just have to take a step back and look at what, who, when, where, or things that make you glow. And you just go from there. Do you. If it makes you happy, do it. I don't know where that came from, but I really don't. And I'm sitting here like, wait a second. I tend to ramble sometimes. 
I feel like my thought process as I get older, I feel like it's getting messed up as the day goes by. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, wait, what was I even talking about? What was my whole point? Mm. I'm gonna go get my lashes done soon. I get the I get my lashes done in um you know my mom's area too, but it's just a different thickness, volume, quality here in Bangkok. Just just because like uh, people or the artists here have more accessible to uh, you know I feel like the products and more practice and more um, more uh, customers who like this type of lashes you know and so that's why it's more common here so that side is done you guys i'm getting full so i'm turning this off and yeah this is gonna be my last bowl um because this mukbang is really long <laughs> I also hope you enjoyed the fish farm vlog. I know that my cousin was super, super happy when we went to visit him before we came to Bangkok. Um, we will go back there again once we go back. Because I want to bring Nadia and Pam to that boat we rented with the karaoke and things because they would have a blast there. Um, they couldn't go that time because they had school and it was like a last minute sort of trip, drive. Like we, we, we couldn't wait till the weekend for them to be off school and so they couldn't come. So, maybe, maybe when I go to the mall, or, um, or when my cousin comes back, when we go to the market here in Bangkok, I'll either live stream the walk, or obviously make a video, or a vlog about it, because, you guys, markets in Bangkok are insane huge like the only thing i'm scared of is because the country is open now and there is like the traffic outside now is, is such a huge difference from when i left like two months ago um it's a lot busier like you're more <laughs> you're a lot closer to the people on the street when you're walking or in the mall it kind of like it gives me anxiety because I'm not used to it you know like I know it used to be like that before but you know when you're used to your own space and things not being busy and then once it actually starts to pick up it's kind of like what's going on <laughs> you know so, I'm like nervous to go to the market here in Bangkok because people are there like walking shoulder to shoulder and yeah just because you're vaccinated doesn't mean you can't get covid so i don't know so yes i'm a little scared my mom said don't go oh you guys are probably wondering why my mom didn't come to bangkok because of grandpa 
she needs to be beside grandpa right now or you know as of lately because he's getting older and older and older and older I mean that's one of the reasons why she didn't come because we're going to be here for at least two weeks and two weeks is a long time and yes you know my aunt and his other daughters are there too but um how do you put this nicely they're not there for him like my mom is you know simple as that I mean I'm not throwing shades but I'm just saying mm. the shrimp is so sweet no wonder why my cousin likes it <laughs> when we go to to the restaurant all she eats is the shrimp she doesn't even eat any vegetables <laughs> as you, as you guys probably saw in our papaya salad mukbang like my mom and I literally try to like throw her vegetables you know because it just naturally goes with papaya salad in my opinion in my mom's opinion and so we wanted her to enjoy it the way we enjoy it but she's like nope not happening so I guess same thing with sukiyaki. Mm. I, I want to eat the corn. So big. I just do it like this. Mm. Bad idea. Corn down, corn down. <laughs> so you guys, this video was is is literally an hour. Let's see how long of a video this is <laughs> after I trim it down mm. delicious was so 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 delicious you guys well <laughs> that is it for this video <laughs> I just realized that the plate of cabbage it was just sticking out a little bit here the whole time that's okay well, that's okay that's okay I uh, anyways you guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching Mwah! Bye!